Recording live. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Sue Lee, and、uh, you can call me Sue. And I am I make music. And welcome to Overthinker Society. This is gonna be kind of like a little mind rambling thing,、uh, where I just like pick a subject every week or so, and just go down the rabbit hole about about the, the specific topic.、Um, One of the reasons why I make music is actually because I am a chronic overthinker. It may not seem like it, but I think so much. I think to a point where I, I just stress myself、uh, with worrying about stuff that's not even worth worrying about and worth my time worrying about. And、uh, like during the peak of my puberty, puberty period, I was absolutely horrified and absolutely convinced. By the fact that the world is gonna be invaded by aliens any minute, and that was like how I spent the most of my puberty years. It was it was horrendous, and those are not those are not fun thoughts to indulge in every single minute of my day. But nonetheless, it was something that <laughs> came to me during the over during the、uh, puberty period. You know, being the overthinker that I am, and I still am,、um, and. Making music helps in this sense because I would pick a subject or、uh, an emotional state that I'm currently going through quite strongly and intensely, and start to overthink on. And I'd actually give myself and allow myself the time and chance to dive fully into the particular emotional state or、uh, the experience while making music about it. And you know, it, it gives me this cathartic experience where I get to ruminate on this certain topic over and over and over and over again until, by the time I'm finished with that song, I'm, you know, I, I'm actually at a better place, and I can actually,、uh, I can actually just kind of move on to the next one, I guess.、Um, the thing is, however, I recently discovered that、uh, writing music was just not keeping up. <laughs> with the pace at which I was overthinking, just loads of stuff in my life, and、uh, making songs about things that I think about takes a while to finish and process and, and be ready to be shared.、Uh, but just thinking, just thinking, it happens as you would already know at the speed of light. And you know, I found myself at a place again where I still need to somehow find. Uh, a place to just vent this out and, and just you know just rambling up, uh, uh, rambling, o- rambling over stuff that I just you know mind vomit about. I I, th- I talk a lot on my own. I talk a lot, and it's it usually consists of a lot of bad grammar <laughs> and a lot of ums, a lot of ahs, and a lot of gibberish and a bit of like random Korean words here and there. Uh, but I decided to open up this little overthinking brain of mine to you guys,、um, and maybe channel in on some topics that I think is worth just rambling on about and going down the rabbit hole with.、Um, and this、uh, this episode of Overthinker Society is actually the third episode that I'm recording. Actually,、um, the previous two were just like the first one was like an introduction to how I might. Structure this podcast, and the second one was actually like going deep into、um, the element of having fun in work, and you know how I like to have fun, and that's kind of like my core main、uh, work ethic.、Um, and you can, you guys can listen to the previous two episodes any, you know, everywhere, pretty much everywhere you can listen to podcasts. In and you know, I was just gonna keep it as a little like secret thing because I guess I wasn't really confident enough to. Um, to just open it up to all of you guys, but、um, I actually, you know, decided to film this and put it up here on YouTube、um, in case <laughs> this is something that you might be, you know, you might find suitable as like a meal time video or something.、Um, but yeah, so I, I, I will just pick a subject and you know just ramble on about it. Hopefully, you guys and and myself included will be able to find some peace by the end of it. And and just have have a little fun and just a good vent. We all need a, we all need a good vent every once in a while, and、um, it's it's healthy, I think, to just just let everything out and just let everything just pour out.、Um, today, I wanted to talk about the topic of embarrassment, and 
not really for a particular reason. I embarrass myself on a daily basis, <laughs> just just by like tripping and like gawking at weird th things like a creep and like stuttering. I stutter a lot. I stutter a lot. Um, especially when my just brain, my brain just goes ahead of my thoughts and it just like speeds up everything and it, it just comes out in the weirdest ways. I stutter a lot or, or just like trying to talk to stray cats for like 40 minutes in the middle of the street, um, forgetting about where I was attending at, attending to. Um, but yeah, embarrassment, I think, is sometimes what, what, what pulls us back from really being true to ourselves and really grasp a chance to, uh, an opportunity to show our true potential, whether it's an embarrassment that's rooted in something that, you know, you've already done in the past or embarrassment for something that you're embarrassed to do in the future. Um, either way, I think, you know, that element of being shy and, and worrying that you're going to end up, you know, shaming yourself or worrying about being embarrassed is something that sometimes just I think pulls us back and not do something that could otherwise be something amazing and open up new opportunities for all of us. And uh, of course, sometimes like embarrassment is just embarrassment and you do something, it shames the hell out of you. Like the time I, like the time I meant to send everyone at an advertising agency that I was working at, I was interning at, at just like some work files that I've been working on. And I ended up instead like sending every single one, uh, of them at the agency, this document file where I just like compiled all these like random motivational quotes and like pep talks that I devised for myself to read at tough times. Um, it had things like, Sue, you can do it. You can make it. You will persist. Perseverance pays off and things like that. It's just like stupid things and a lot of Korean here and there and just like a lot of gibberish and a lot of weird like images here and there. And that was like, I sent that by accident to everybody at the agency. And, you know, that was, thank goodness, that was actually the last day of my uh, internship there. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what they thought of me, but at least they, they know that I'm, I'm a motivated person, at least. Um, but even in that case, I think these, like, these intense moments of, like, embarrassment and, and being like, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. And, like, those moments are actually what spices life up anyway. You know, the saying, if you don't do stupid things when you're young you know, you'll have nothing to smile about when you're, when you're older. And, and, you know, and I think, although I think it's like a perpetual thing, not like a younger, older thing, like you, it's like life in and of itself is, is a perpetual ongoing motion of doing stupid things and not knowing what the frick that we're doing, what going on about what the frick is going on. And we're just kind of making constant mistakes here and there and learning from it, of course. But, you know, it's, it, that is what life is all about, you know, doing, making mistakes and doing stupid stuff. Um, and I think it's, although like we kind of all know that internally and intrinsically, we know that we're going to do stupid things and we all know that is, it's part of human nature to, to be scared of uncertainty and, but also at the same time, ined inevitably know that we're going to do stupid embarrassing stuff at one point in our in our lives there's this really really um liberating sense of freedom and and peace that comes from really acknowledging this and really thinking through it you know like we are right now um you know no know, knowing that everybody is just human no nobody knows what's right or wrong and every single person you know every single you know human being out there regardless of like whether you're a list celebrity or a college student trying to save up and make ends meet or a full-time waitress or a waiter whoever you are we're all going to do stupid stuff at one point um, consciously or not and i think being conscious of it like being overly conscious that we are going we are you know that is part of ourselves as as you know who we are as humans i think this whole journey uh, that's that's you know that's the core of how I think I've built myself up as a musician. I think, you know, this journey as as a musician and this, you know, all these videos that I put up so far for you guys to see in large part came from that place of understanding this, that I am bound to do stupid things at some point in life. 
and embarrass the hell out of myself. And, you know, and, and if, and I thought if I'm going, if I'm going to do that, if everybody does stupid things, everybody is bound to embarrass themselves one way or another, I thought I might as well do something, do that, uh, in a way that's completely me and and unshamefully me, hundred percent, hundred percent, no compromise, just me. Um, and I would be lying actually if I said I didn't go through this really cringy period where I was trying to striving to be someone that that I'm not by dressing how the cool people were dressing, you know, like reference e-boys, e-girls, um, or trying to act like I, I don't really give a damn about everything around me and acting cool and acting, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm super cool. I don't really like care about stuff around me. But the thing is, I do. I, I do care about what goes around me. I, I'm overly conscious about uh, about other people's thoughts of me. And I'm not really you know, that's, I, I do care. I do care about what people think. And I, I really get happy. I get happy when people like my photos and my videos. I love it when people say they can resonate with my, my stuff. I love it when people leave comments on my stuff. You know, it's like, it's not something that I realized that I could, you know, easily pretend not to be, you know, because that's, that's, that's who I am. Um, but also, like more important than anything, I am I'm awkward. I'm painfully awkward. I'm just just cringy as frick. I you know I don't know how to move my body properly. I I'm not I'm not cool. I don't I've never ever you know fit in and and I never really had friends growing up. I I was bullied. I don't you know I don't really like wearing makeup. And if I do if I do try to wear makeup, I'm gonna look horrendous, and that's a guarantee. And um. I, I don't I don't know what cool clothing brands are like I, I don't I don't really know I don't really have my favorite brands I just love ugly Christmas sweaters that's that is one thing that I know that I like for sure and you know I don't like I don't like I just listen to a lot of mainstream like pop music and chart music but also like you know it just you know, I, I'm just not, I'm just awkward. <laughs> I'm just awkward. I'm really awkward. And, you know, it's embarrassing. It was embarrassing at, at first, I guess, to, to show that to the world, to you guys and, and to the rest of the world. Um, I, I, but ever since, you know, coming to terms with, with the fact that everyone pretty much feels the same, nobody is ever like 100% secure with who, who they are. I've, I've gotten a lot of courage to just you know, put myself out there and just be shameless, shamelessly just be myself. And uh, I'm, I'm really, 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 really glad that I did. I, I really am. And I'm really glad that what you guys are seeing right now is not some sort of a mask that I'm putting up because it sounds cooler and look cooler and, and sexier and also no blemish because you know, like Photoshop, it looks nice, like no pimples, no, nothing getting in the way, nothing red, nothing, you know, icky. But it's like, I've got, I get pimples, I hate it. But you know, I, I don't really, I, that's, I, I hate it, but it, it's there, it comes up. <laughs> it's always, always coming. I've got super oily skin. I can't, I can't really hide it. <laughs> um, and this whole journey, I, I'm, this whole journey so far, on YouTube, making music and, and putting it out there and getting your, getting all of your reactions and feedback is, is has given me so much, you know, so much courage, um, so far to just, just to keep going and, um, keep being raw and, you know, just keep showing who I am and keep embarrassing myself in my, in my own uncompromised way. Um, but I also, you know, I hope you guys can too, because I now, now truly, truly, truly believe that sometimes painful, you know, that sometimes painful plunge to just do something despite the shame that could potentially come from it and, and, and all the embarrassment and all the embarrassment that's going to come from it is actually going to definitely open up amazing opportunities and, and also good memories, you know, 
like we said, the things that we could smile about when we're older. Um, and I think that in and of itself is already something that's that's so valuable to take away um, when it comes to living a, a fun life, you know, something that is worth looking back to when that time comes when we're at our deathbeds and, and you know, hey, that, mo- that day when I sent the whole agency my motivational quote uh, library and it's just like, you know, all these memories, they're going to they're gonna be what spices life up and I guess that's that is in the core of my virtue as as an artist as a musician as 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 a creator I'm gonna keep embarrassing myself in the in new ways and ways that is is nobody else but me and I know that I have people watching me I have you know people who like me for who I am and that you know that gives me all the more courage to just keep going um, so yeah, just let's, let's keep embarrassing ourselves. Let's just keep doing that, you know? <laughs> um, okay. I think, I think I'll wrap it up here. Hopefully, you know, you guys had a nice meal <laughs> watching this and, um, you know, I hope my face didn't gross you out or anything. <laughs> and, uh, thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, and leave a comment, you know, what, what other, what other things that you'd like me to cover on the next episode? any questions that you'd like me to answer, uh, or just overall how you feel about this whole thing, um, anything. I, I'm always reading comments. I'm always trying to reply to every single comment um, that's that's on here. Um, so yeah, always love it when you guys, when I can talk to you guys directly. So yeah, leave a comment and yeah, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.